Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. This lesson shows you how to track changes you and others make to a document. While it is possible to track changes to a document on which you exclusively work, most people use this tool when working collaboratively on a document. This feature lets different users make changes to a shared document that can be tracked, reviewed, and saved before creating a final version of the document. To enable tracking changes in a Word document, click the Review tab in the ribbon. Then click the top portion of the Track Changes button to begin tracking changes in the document. Alternatively, click the bottom drop-down portion of the Track Changes button. Then choose the Track Changes command. To review the options for tracking changes in the document, click the Review tab in the ribbon. Then click the Change Tracking Options dialog box launcher button in the lower right corner of the Tracking button group to open the Track Changes Options dialog box. In the Track Changes Options dialog box, review and, if needed, change any settings for change tracking in your document. Then click the OK button to apply your desired settings. At this point and in the future, any changes made to the document appear using the Track Changes options you selected. To set the appearance of the tracked changes in the document, click the Display for Review drop-down in the Tracking button group. Then select either Original to see the document as it appeared before any tracked changes, All Markup to show all markups in the document, No Markup to see the changes without the markup indicators, or Simple Markup which is the default choice and which shows the original text with any tracked changes and reviewer comments from the drop-down menu. Another way of viewing the changes made to a document is by using the reviewing pane. The reviewing pane shows all tracked changes grouped by change type. To show the reviewing pane, click the drop-down reviewing pane button. Then choose either reviewing pane vertical or Reviewing Pane Horizontal from the drop-down menu. To close the Reviewing Pane, click the small X button in the upper right corner of the Reviewing Pane after reviewing the changes. To then choose to accept or reject the proposed tracked changes in the document to prepare a final copy, click into the body of the document or into the Reviewing Pane. Then click either the Previous, or Next buttons in the Changes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Word then selects either the Previous or Next change by highlighting it. Then click either the Accept or Reject buttons in the Changes button group to accept or reject the highlighted change. Repeat this process to move through all the changes individually accepting or rejecting them. Alternatively, to accept or reject all changes in a document, click the drop-down arrows on either the Accept or Reject buttons in the Changes button group. Then choose either the Accept All Changes or the Reject All Changes command from the drop-down menus that appear below the respective buttons. To turn off change tracking in a document, Click the Track Changes button again in the Tracking button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. This is a toggle button and it appears highlighted in the ribbon when change tracking is enabled in a document. After clicking the button again, it should appear normally in its button group, indicating that change tracking is turned off. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.